Hi, this is Laura from Divine Light Yoga and today I'm talking about my top four things that I have in my children's yoga toolkit. If you're a traveling yoga teacher, either traveling from studio to studio or school to school or country to country, it's very difficult to carry lots of materials and props with you. And for children's yoga, sometimes we need uh, a few things, a few materials in order to enhance our classes, but it's not possible to carry an abundance of things with you. Ideally, we'd all be working in one beautiful studio space with lots of things for the children. But if you are moving around, here's four things that I advise you to carry with you at all times. So my first thing is my little bag of shells. So I always have shells or stones with me and they can be used for a number of things. So you can use them to place on the children's belly or over their heart when they're doing breathing techniques. You can use them as a talking stone. So the child who is holding the stone or the shell, it's their turn to talk and everyone else's turn to listen. You can use them to guide your uh, closing circle so the children can place a shell inside the, the middle of the circle to say one thing that made them smile or one thing that they're grateful for. So you can use them for a bunch of things, but they're the, the three things that I use them mostly for. The second thing that I always carry with me is my oils. So I really love my essential oils. They're great for using with all children, all age groups. So you can either put them in a little spray bottle, spray it around the room with some water, or you can maybe place it on top of the children's clothing if that feels appropriate. Or you can create some pretty uh, paper hearts, paper shapes, and then just dab a little bit of oil so that they can smell it during their pranayama. So it's a really great way to enhance their breathing by using oils. So my third thing is my mind in a jar. So you may have seen it as mindfulness or meditation jars. It's simply a glass jar with water and glitter in there. So I, again, use it for a number of, uh, number of th things, a number of techniques. So you can shake it up and this is a really great representation of the children's minds when they feel frustrated or confused or anxious. So they can watch the glitter settle and it's a beautiful metaphor for how their thoughts and their emotions might be overwhelming, but eventually everything will settle. I also use my mind in a jar as a way to focus the children. So I use it um, when they're all lying down on their bellies in crocodile pose and they can watch the glitter swirl around in the jar so it keeps their mind focused. And you can also use it as a way to keep the children in the poses for a little bit longer. So they have to stay in a balancing pose until all the glitter in the jar settles down. And my fourth and final thing that I always have in my toolkit is my speakers. So I'm a little bit of a technophobe, so I don't really know how to use equipment in different studios and schools, so I always just make sure I have my own speakers. Music is great in yoga for enhancing and embodying that mood that you want to create. So if you want it to be high energy, putting in a child-friendly energetic song in there. Or if you want to calm things down through your pranayama and your relaxation, putting on some natural sound, some white noise, or some calming relaxation music. So I always make sure I have my own speakers and my own music, just in case I can't figure out how to use the studio's sound system. So they're my top four things that I advise for you to carry everywhere with you, just in case you need to jump into a children's yoga class. Thank you very much for listening. Namaste.